Hello guys, Nilesh here, back with another tutorial. Today I am going to share you some of the useful plugins in SketchUp. Note that these are free to use plugin. So if you want to download it, you can head to Chrome. Then search for sketchucation.com. Now if you are a new member to this website, you can just sign up here by filling note form. And if you are an existing member, just click on sign in and then click on plugin store. All these are free to use plugin. If you are looking for a specific one, just search it. And click on download. Once this is done, you can minimize your screen and click on Windows Extension Manager, install extension, and just click on your .rbz file, click on open and just minimize your screen. If you still can't see it, head to view toolbar. Then once you see join push pull, enable it. Now close your okay guys now that the installation part is there we'll start working with the plugins. First up is make face. First we'll import a cat plan. Now select it. Right click, explode. Then just click on make face. Now here you can see all the faces are separated. Now select all the walls. Copy about 10 feet. Make a group. Double click. Control A to avoid select. Then just click on join normal push pull. Then just give a direction and enter a value. Enter. Then again enter. And wait for it to make the changes. Here you can see all the ones are extended. Now there is an opening above. To fix it, just select, click on make face and it will automatically create the face all around it. Now we will remove unwanted lines. And I will just close. Next up is round corner. We we'll just create a block. We 
we'll just create a group double click then click on round corner and just click outside if you see hidden lines just click on it go to the go to default tray head down click on soft and crop liner and it will remove all the unwanted lines next up is now this tool is very helpful if you want to switch your units back and forth for an example now you can view that my dimension are in 13 feet 7 inches i can just click on decimal then mm and switch to decimal values now my units are in 4157 mm like this you can easily switch back and forth next stop is solar north to enable it you have to click p then head down once you see shadow click on this icon unhide the shadow close the bar then just click on set not tool now click on any point on the surface then just rotate to adjust your shadows then once you're done you can just disable the shadow next is fade of scale now we'll try to import a block like this one first we have to flip it now we'll just try to place it here now to scale this block equally all we have to do is click on Fredo scale box stretching then click on any corner point like this one then just click on the end point what we do here is go back 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 next up is Fredo scale radial bending same here, we'll import a block like this one, stack is now click on radial bending click on front face then second point and just try to rotate it Now we'll do same at the back. Second point and just rotate it. Wait for a few seconds. So here it has turned from normal staircase to spiral staircase. So now last one on the list is road generator. Right now we'll create a face of 10 feet by 10 feet. Then just reverse the faces. Select it and click on flow generator. Here you will have different option of from brick and you can see a pattern here. Same thing for tile and a pattern. So you can select any of this. Right now we'll go with tile. Keep the length and width one by one. No changes here. We'll keep the origin to corner. 
and just enable add bevel to tile no changes in the size and create individual group and just click on one corner point and then inside the face here you can see all the tiles are generated but some are missing all you have to do is double click then just select and make a copy same goes here just select and make a copy same thing here and same goes here You can even select and give a color. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Stay inspired guys. See you in the next video.